Hello, dear learners. I am Professor Mukesh Vamandra Babulkar from Department of Pharmaceutics, Dr. Rajendra Gode College of Pharmacy, Malkapur. Today, we are going to discuss about dispersion. Learning objectives. After completion of this topic, learner should able to define dispersion state the type of dispersion, able to compare the various dispersion and learner should able to give the different examples of dispersion in our day to day life. Topic outline. In this topic, we are going to cover definition of dispersion, classification of dispersion on the basis of size of the particles of dispersed phase mainly into three types molecular dispersion colloidal dispersion coarse dispersion we will compare the property of dispersion and lastly discuss about the various examples of dispersions a learner first thing we should know is that what is dispersion? Dispersion is defined as a system in which particles of dispersed phase are distributed in a dispersion medium. Dispersed phase is known as internal phase whereas dispersion medium is known as external phase. Dispersed phase and dispersion medium are two important components in the dispersion system. It is a heterogeneous system. So dear learner, pause the video for one minute and think what are the different dispersion that we observe in our daily life. I think you are able to find out few examples of dispersion. So let's have a look that we daily observe and use many dispersions like milk, detergent solution, foams, paints, cosmetics and natural phenomenon like fog in winter season and our own blood cells are the examples of dispersion. So dear learner, you are aware that we use so many dispersion in our day to day life. Let's classify dispersion on the basis of particle diameter of dispersed phase. Dispersion are classified as molecular dispersion, colloidal dispersion, and coarse dispersion. So first of all, we will discuss about molecular dispersion. It is also called as true solution because particles are in molecular state. The particle size of dispersed phase in molecular dispersion is less than 1 nanometer. As far as properties of molecular dispersion are concerned, particles are invisible even under electron microscope. As we know, electron microscope has highest resolution power, but still the molecular dispersion particles are invisible under electron microscope. The particles can pass through semi permeable membrane and filter paper. As we know, the particles of molecular solution can easily pass the biological membrane. Next property of molecular dispersion is particle do not settle down on standing as there is no effect of gravity on the particles. Particles of molecular dispersion undergo rapid diffusion through 
biological membrane. The examples of molecular disposition are ordinary ions or solution of glucose. Second type of dispersion is colloidal dispersion, which is again classified on the basis of particle size of dispersed phase. In this type of dispersion, particle ranges from 1 nanometer to 0.5 micrometer. The property of colloidal dispersions are particles not resolved by ordinary microscope but we can detect the particles of colloidal dispersion under electron microscope particles pass through the filter paper but they do not pass through semi perivium membrane next property of colloidal dispersion the particles do not settle in normal condition due to the Brownian motion. As we know, Brownian motion is the random zigzag motion of the particles. They collide on each other as well as on the wall of the container. Due to the Brownian motions, particle produce thermal energy and this energy resists to settle the particles. But we can made to settle the particles of colloidal dispersion by force centrifugation. Particles of colloidal dispersion diffuse very slowly. The various examples of colloidal dispersions are colloidal silver soul which is used as a germicide. Colloidal soul of copper used as an anti-cancer and the various natural and synthetic polymers are used to prepare the colloidal dispersion. Last type of dispersion based on the particle size of dispersed phase in coarse dispersion in which the particle size is more than 0.5 micrometer. The various properties of coarse dispersion is the particles in this type of dispersion are visible under ordinary microscope. Particles do not pass through the filter paper or semi permeable membrane. The particles of coarse dispersion settle down due to the influence of gravitational force as there is no Brownian motion in the particles of coarse dispersion due to the larger particle size. Particles do not diffuse. The examples of coarse dispersion are emulsions, suspensions, red blood cells of our blood. So, this is the comparative account of the various type of dispersion with the example. So, we mainly classify the dispersion into three types, molecular dispersion, colloidal dispersion and coarse dispersion according to the particle size of dispersed phase and these are the few examples of various type of dispersion. Thank you very much for your patient listening. If you have any query, so you can comment and do subscribe my channel. Happy learning.